Well, being that we are wrapping up the holiday season, you may actually have a few extra bucks in your pocket thanks to family, friends, or who knows, maybe like a scratch off lottery ticket. So if you are in the market for new drum hardware, then it's the perfect time to finally have an in-depth review of the new Ludwig Classic Flat-Based Hardware. What's going on everybody, Nick Costa here, and welcome to this in-depth review of the Ludwig Classic Flat-Based Hardware. This hardware series was recently re-released by Ludwig, and it's time to now show you a little bit more about what this hardware is all about. So in this video, I will actually be tearing down the old hardware on my kit and setting up this new hardware, which you can see is already set up if you've noticed the Keystone badge on this wing nut up here. But with that being said, I'm gonna kind of just go through my whole setup process with it and some of those features that Ludwig probably wants you to know about that makes these stand out a whole lot more than the other folks who are making flat-based hardware. Before we dive in any further, if you could, just make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification. That way you're notified of any additional content that I upload here to the channel. So without further ado, let's get started. Like I mentioned in that earlier video that I posted, this hardware is a flat base, lightweight hardware. It's supposed to be that nice, sleek, vintage look, but modern day, so you know it's actually going to hold up, especially if you're somebody who hits pretty hard. Now, flat based hardware, as you know, the legs are completely flat rather than being on an angle like your traditional hardware. This can actually make those stands be pretty sturdy, especially because the majority of them are lightweight. The problem with that, however, is that because they are completely flat, their footprint is usually wider, which makes it more difficult to set everything up, especially if you are in a situation like I am with microphone stands and everything else. It can become a little bit of a puzzle to try and get everything to fit into place. Luckily, Ludwig has actually thought about this and has made this hardware allow you to adjust those legs so they can go further than being completely flat. This is actually pretty beneficial because of the fact that if you have to go over top of another stand, you can do this just by adjusting those legs ever so slightly. On top of that, the feet at the very bottom actually have two different cutouts that allow you to adjust so the stand sits just a tad higher. Now with this classic hardware series, you actually got four new stands. You got two cymbal stands, one was a straight stand, the other one is a boom stand, you had a hi-hat stand, then you had a snare drum stand. All right, so let's first talk about those cymbal stands. First, starting with the boom cymbal stands. Now these boom stands actually have a dual boom arm adjustment. The one that adjusts the angle of the arm is actually teeth driven, which is okay because every cymbal stand on the market, as far as I know, is like that. The cool thing about this, however, is that those teeth are pretty close together. So you are gonna be able to make the adjustments and get that arm at the angle where you need it to be. Additionally, you can adjust the length of the boom arm and you can tilt that boom arm towards you or away from you so you can set up the cymbal exactly where you need it to be. Now, one thing to keep in mind with these boom cymbal stands, they are only one tier with their height. So the height of them is actually pretty limited. If you wanted to use them in a crash cymbal configuration, you just need to keep that in mind because of the fact that you are gonna have to extend that arm all the way, and then you are gonna have to extend the boom arm additionally to get to the height where you might want your cymbals to be. That's okay, however, because the straight stands actually are dual tiered. You have two different sections which allow those stands to get even higher. That's probably a good thing though because if you have those boom stands and you have them too high, they might actually become a little too top heavy, especially if you have that arm out all the way and they could fall over. But that goes with any flat based hardware. So that's just something to keep in mind when you are deciding what cymbal stands you wanna get. Now let's go ahead and talk about those straight cymbal stands. Just like the boom stands, they have those feet that have the dual slots so you can adjust the height that way, which is awesome. It is a omnidirectional cymbal tilter. So again, you can place your cymbal at the exact angle that you want it to be. The one thing that's different about this is that one, it's a straight stand, and two, you actually have two different sections 
so those stands can become even higher than the boom stands. They have that same tri-band tube joint clamp, so you know that they're gonna be secure and they are not gonna fall over, as well as those redesigned wing nuts that are sleek looking, easy to get on and off. All right, so let's go ahead and move over to the hi-hat stand. With the hi-hat stand, it's another stand that has a flat base frame for nice low profile sleek look, but it also has this really cool aero disc cymbal tilter. So if you're familiar with hi-hats, you know that you're not actually supposed to have your hi-hats be parallel. When that happens and you close your hats, air can actually get trapped in between them and it can cause your cymbals to crack. To fix this, you actually tilt the bottom cymbal so then that way when you close down on them, the air actually pushes out between the two cymbals. The design of this on this flat base hi-hat stand is actually really cool because it's not big, bulky, and junky. Now the one really cool thing about this is that when I went to that gig and took this straight out the box, that bottom cymbal was already angled so I didn't have to worry about adjusting that like I do every other hi-hat stand I've ever purchased. Now the hi-hat stand comes with what Ludwig is calling the speed ball bearings. They are enclosed bearings between the heel and the foot plate of the hi-hat stand. So you have enhanced sensitivity, which what Ludwig is saying is going to reduce fatigue. I don't know about you, but if that means I don't have to work as hard to get my hi-hats to close, I'm sold. Another feature is you can adjust the spring tension of the hi-hat stand. This is actually pretty important because if you use different types of hats and they are various in weight, I'm sure you've noticed the heavier symbols cause your hi-hats to close and you might have to open them up a bit more or it feels like you pick up your foot and your hats don't open. That's where you have to adjust this spring tension so you can make sure those hats open and close freely. The really rad thing about this stand is not only can you do that, it comes with a memory lock so you can lock it in place and not have to worry about it collapsing in the middle of you playing. Now this hi-hat stand has multiple anchors. There's actually a spur cleat in the back part of the stand and then there's a center anchor point so you can make sure that this is secure and in place so the cymbal stand doesn't move while you're playing. Finally, let's talk about that snare drum stand. With the snare drum stand, like everything else, it's flat based. It has those dual notched legs so you can make adjustments if you need to. This stand also has what Ludwig is calling the Aerodyne Tilter. This is a gearless dual axis rotating positioning system that allows you to omnidirectionally rotate your snare drum stand. So you can have your snare pointed towards you, away from you, to the left or the right. You could even spin it around in a circle if you wanted to. Now, if you do decide to give that a shot, just make sure that there's nothing else around the stand when you decide to rotate your snare drum 360 degrees. Another really cool thing is that this snare basket is super lightweight. So if you are somebody who prefers to have your rack tom on a snare drum stand, this is something that you might actually wanna look into because it's not gonna be big and bulky and topple over while you're playing. All right, so for this demo, I'm actually going to put this stuff to the test. And by doing that, I'm gonna be pretty much laying into my drums like I would if I'm playing a rock show. But it's okay, because it's going to show you how durable this hardware actually is. Now, for my kit, with the configuration that I have of all the flat-based hardware, I am using boom stands for my ride cymbal and the auxiliary crash that I have off to my right. I'm using the straight stands for my crash cymbals. The straight stand that's on my left side or your right side actually has a Ludwig Tom clamp to it so I can suspend my rack tom. I am using the flat-based hi-hat stand as well as the snare drum. Now, because I am using the flat-based hi-hat stand, one thing I did notice, however, is that you cannot set up a double bass pedal because the leg that faces where that dummy pedal would go actually gets in the way. So it's time to put this hardware to the test. Let's lay into it.
right, purist, I understand. You might be cringing a little bit and be like, you're bashing the crap out of your symbols. I'd hate to be the company that has to replace his symbols because he's breaking them all the time or the drum head company that's putting... The whole point of this was to show you that you can lay into your drums and these stands are going to be just fine for you. They're not going to fall over. Now, if you are doing stuff that's a little bit more low key, maybe stuff where you're not swinging for the fences, obviously this stuff is going to work for you as well. And I went to the extreme just to show you that you can lay into this stuff and you can use it for something where you're swinging for the fences. It's still going to work. So my initial reactions with this hardware, obviously that first video, I was super impressed with the fact that I was able to take all of this stuff out of the box, set it up and feel completely comfortable to play a four hour wedding gig, especially with a band that I've never played with before. Now that I'm in my own space and I was able to take the time to really make sure that I had everything set up the way that I wanted it to. And because I have my classic maple kit here, completely different setup than that other gig, I was able to make sure that I could suspend a rack tom off of my cymbal stand. I was able to make sure that I could put my stands where I wanted them to be and also make sure that my microphones could stay exactly where they need to be and do so with ease. That one alarming thing, like I did mention, however, the boom stands, they don't get high enough. So initially I was going to use a boom stand for my crash cymbal on the left usually because if I am suspending a rack tom off of it, how I have it set up, I have to have that boom arm come out a little bit, makes it a little bit more comfortable for me. Unfortunately, I could not get that cymbal stand high enough unless I had the boom arm coming almost straight out on an extreme angle. I didn't like the look of that, so I had to swap it out with one of the flat based straight stands, which is okay, however, because once I got the stand in place, I was able to put the rack tom mount on it and get everything set up to where I wanted it to go. The other thing I wanna identify, and this actually has nothing to do with the hardware, except for the fact that it showed me that I was setting up my kit in a way that might not have been super ergonomic. It might have looked good on camera, but I was doing some things and contorting my body in ways that probably made it a bit more difficult for me to play. Now, the first thing that helped me with that is actually the new Ludwig Pro Drum Throne. It is a round, throne. It's not one of those tractor style seat thrones like you have seen me sit on in some of my other videos. And the reason why is because it allows me to sit up a lot more straight and not have anything digging into my legs. Now, although this seat has a little bit of cushion to it, it is nice and firm, which allows me to sit up straight and put my weight into my sit bones, which some of you probably don't even care about, but you totally should because it allows you to set yourself up properly and not put all the weight into your legs. Then when I started moving my hands around the kit as if I was about to strike a cymbal or say a tom, I was able to make those adjustments to heights and angles to make sure that I set everything up the way that works best for me. Now, although this isn't part of the classic hardware series, the one thing I do wanna point out is that Speed Flyer single pedal. Compared to the older pedals that I had on the kit, which I had both the single and double version of, this pedal, actually the beater is hitting dead center on the bass drum. With those other pedals, the beater was offset, so it wasn't hitting in the middle. Some people might say it doesn't make a difference, but if you strike any drum in the middle, you're gonna get a different sound than if you strike it a little bit off center. Might not be that big of a difference to your ear, but if you put it under a microphone, you might actually hear a little bit of a difference. Also has a completely different feeling in my opinion. Now I'd love to get your feedback on what you think of this new Ludwig Classic flat-based hardware, so feel free to leave that in the comment section below. Additionally, if you have any questions, you can also leave them in the comment section and I'll try and help out in any way that I can. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure that you give it a thumbs up. That way it makes it a bit easier for others to find it. And if you want more information on this hardware series, I've actually put a link to Ludwig's website in the description. That way you can read up about it a bit more. Or if you want to check out some of the videos that Ludwig has released, you might get a little bit more information on it. Now, if you are in the market for drum hardware and this video has shown you that this is the hardware for you, I've actually put affiliate links in the description below of every piece of hardware that I used in this video. That does include the Speed Flyer single and double pedal. Although once again, if you get the double pedal, it's not going to work with this hi-hat stand because the leg gets in the way. And that is it. Thank you so much for checking out this in-depth review of the Ludwig Classic flat-based hardware. Hopefully you've gotten something from it. And until next time, 
See you later.